Hey, it's uh, Canadian winter, so I'm going to wear my toque. In this video, I'm going to show you how, uh, how easy it is actually to install the version 1.01 update for C64 OS. Uh, it's a single .car file that can be downloaded from the software updates section of c64os.com. Uh, so uh, I, what I did was I downloaded that file using a Mac, you could use a PC. Then I took the system card, um, the system SD card that I have uh, c64os installed on, stuck it on my Mac, copied the car file into anywhere, um, I just stuck it in the root directory. Um, then I put the SD card back into my uh, Commodore 64 and I've booted up C64 OS. So um, we're in the file manager here. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, the settings utility. And then I'm going to go to about. And here uh, we can see that the version number of C64 OS is, is shown as uh, 1.0. So next, um, I will navigate um, up to the root directory, and we can see this uh, file here, 1.01.update.car. Uh, it's 209 blocks. So I'm going to just double click this file. and it opens the installer utility. Uh, the installer utility is assigned as the default utility for opening .car files. Uh, it's configured that way out of the box. You could change it, but it makes sense. Uh, so this shows us the file name that we are um, trying to install. Uh, the, ins the type is a version two installer uh, type file. This shows us the date that the archive was created. So it was just created on the 20th of November. And we also have uh, this note. So we can, we can scroll back and forth through this note. So it tells us that uh, it's the v1.0 update. So I'm going to just hit install here. And uh, it tells us that it's installing. And this uh, bar tells us what file it is currently extracting. So uh, that's, that's actually all there is to do. I'm going to sit here while this uh, completes the installation. Um, and I'll just tell you a little bit what the installer can do. Um, the uh, car files are uh, hierarchical and, or recursive. So they, they can store uh, subdirectories and files inside subdirectories and then subdirectories inside subdirectories and so on. Um, and uh, they have a header that can specify whether it is a, a complete C64 OS installation, which is called a restore type archive, um, an install type archive, which is what we're uh, running here, which is uh, an overlay. It, it, it um, has the ability to put files into specific directories that already exist and it has the ability to create new directories that don't yet exist. And um, it has the ability to add new files to the system directory. It also has the ability to replace old files with new files in the system directory. Um, and then car files also support uh, a general type. Uh, general type could be used for anything. Um, doesn't have to be even used for uh, C64OS specifically, you could use the C64 archiver to create an archive of anything for your Commodore 64. Um, and it's the installer utility that will actually uh, extract the contents of the car file. Um, and if it's a general archive, it'll just, it'll basically just put the, the whole subdirectory tree um, side by side with wherever the original car file is. So you can just put the car file where you want to extract it to, double click, uh, and it will it'll unroll it to that place. Um, so that's it. We've just installed um, the 209 block update. But what I'm going to do is uh, quit to basic so that um, I can re... I, I mean, I, 
some basic kinds of installations, maybe you could get away with installing them without a reboot, but this one actually uh, makes changes to the kernel, so it's a pretty good idea to do a reboot afterwards. So we'll just boot back into C64 OS. So here we are. Um, the very first thing that I will do is go back to my settings utility. And I'll go to about. And lo and behold, uh, about now reports that we're on um, version 1.01. Um, there aren't a whole lot of uh, major visual changes to show, but there are lots of uh, bug fixes, few new features, and um, yeah, some other cool stuff like uh, some new background uh, backdrops for the app launcher and improvements to um, the PRG runner utility and so on. So that's it. Thanks for watching.